Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Bales, and today we are back in our hardcore world. Now, on Thursday, Thursday last week, I went ahead and killed the Ender Dragon. I actually did that live on stream on my Twitch channel. So, um, if you guys follow me, you would have seen it. But, um, I will leave my Twitch link down below so you can check out that past stream if you would like. But, um... We got pretty busy, we didn't actually die once, and I wanted to show you the Ender Dragon fight, so I've actually got a replay of it, so uh, check that out.
How epic was that, guys? I spent a total of two hours making that little cinematic, and I am in love with it. It is so cool. But um, after that, we actually went on to do a little bit of end busting. And whilst end busting, we found ourselves a beautiful elytra. Also, ignore my inventory. I know it's messy, but we're gonna get to it, okay? And because of our new elytra, we can now fly. And oh my god. God, guys, it feels so nice flying around the world. Now, I actually took my first flight on stream, and that was pretty crazy. Uh, we all had a good time. But, as well as an elytra, I also got some shulker shells. So, in today's episode, I want to create our first shulker boxes and figure out what to put in them. We were able to get enough shulker shells to be able to make seven shulker boxes. So all we need to do is just split these in half and place them like that with the chest in the middle. And boom! Seven shulker boxes. How cool is that? Let me just grab my pickaxe. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to fill all of these, but I certainly want a redstone box. So let's just load this bad boy up. We don't have the widest selection of redstone bits and bobs, but I feel like this is a pretty decent starting point. So all we want to do now is just... Oh, where is it gone? Which one was it? This one. Here we go. And then we can dye it red so we know that's for our redstone bits. The next one I want to do is this one right here, and I want to fill it up. Half with grass, and oh, we might not be able to actually. Uh, actually, if we just do this. So, this one is just for things like terraforming and uh, being able to fill in patches that we find in various places. I also want a little bit of storage for several different types of wood. So, I'm going to start with birch. Oh, we don't have very much acacia. Okay, we need to grow some more of that. And if I grab maybe like half a stack of saplings, or in that case, all of the saplings. Again, all of the saplings, just so that we can replenish our wood supplies. A little something like this should do us until we get a bigger selection or just a higher quantity of wood. I think we need to get a tree farm set up soon. So I realized how boring that was getting, so I just went ahead and did all of the boxes. So in this one, we're going to have all of our valuable items, like I want a bunch more diamond tools, which we're going to get from end busting, which we're going to do on stream pretty soon. So be sure to go follow my Twitch channel so you don't miss out on that one. Uh, and this one is our redstone box, you saw that on camera. This is a greenery box. I did a stone box in case we do any cliffs or anything. Uh, just the grass and dirt the wood shulker box, and then an empty shulker box if we ever go out exploring and we decide that we need extra space, so that's what that's for. Now I actually thought down here could be quite nice because it's quite near to our original village and I want to fill out the rest of that area with fields I think. So I thought we could have maybe a little house back there and then just a couple of fields filled with trees so I may flatten this area just a little bit and have some really cute paths going in between and maybe some sort of borders in between the different zones where we're going to have the trees. So uh, I'm going to kick this off into time-lapse mode because I think that's the best way to show you guys this because it might be... The house will be quite small but the whole tower forming thing might take a little while. So uh, here we go. Hey!
guys, look how beautiful it looks. We've got the nice little log log chopper, log wood woodcutter. Yeah. The, we got the nice little woodcutter's cottage on the top of the hill, a little sawmill down there. Let me just take you down. Oops, let me just take you down to have a quick little look. So we just got a nice pile of timber here. You know, some storage, random bits of timber, the saw, when, which is powered, powered by the water wheel. And don't worry, I did realise that it's uh, not actually in the water, so it won't be providing any power. But I like the way it looks, so we're going to leave it. Also, some of the trees grew up. These trees, I've decided I want to keep just to the, the one thick ones, because they that just looks really weird having them that tall. I don't know, but um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about these trees, because I think they're just too tall. So uh, I did actually do an interior to this cottage. We've got a nice little downstairs area. And then if we go upstairs, some more timber and a little bedroom. Before today's video ends, there are a couple of things I want to do. Like remove these ginormous eyesores because now we can get into the hot air balloons without actually using the scaffolding thanks to our elytra. So uh, let's get rid of these quickly. There's one. And there goes number two. The other thing I want to do before this episode ends is I want to combine our chest plate, oops, our <laughs> our chest plate with our elytra, which if I get them both on the anvil, it should work beautifully. There we go, and that is actually thanks to our armored elytra data pack that we have installed on this world. So now we've got full armor and we've got an elytra, which is going to be very useful in hardcore. Guys, we can finally take off, kill the dragon, and get a lightship because we did that. We are going to need some more projects. Oh, in fact, one just came into my head now, actually. There we go. Somewhere to store the egg and definitely a dragon flex. I've got something in mind for that, which I think would be really cool. But, um, yeah, so in today's video, we built this. We got a light troll. We killed the ender dragon. And I think that's all pretty insane. And I'm so happy with the way the cottage turns out. It, it is so cute. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. En enjoyed? Enjoyed. I certainly did. And I hope I will see you guys in the next one. If you want to see more videos by me, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And, you know, you can actually go ahead and uh, catch up on the rest of the videos, and which build up to us fighting the ender dragon. So, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.